Hello everyone, it's Vicky here today designing for Pink Fresh Studio and I'm using the new Tourist Mode collection and my idea here is to make my own title using the 6x6 um, paper pad and I do love the 6x6 paper pads, they're so versatile, you can do so much with them and uh, you'll see what I'm going to do here. So I'm just measuring my photo and what I want to do is cut some pieces the same size as my photo pretty much or the same height at least and then I'm going to create some letters. So I'm just going to freehand these letters, they're not perfect but, um, but I know they're all going to be the same height. So I'm just drawing each letter onto the paper. Now obviously the E is super simple, um, the X a little bit more complicated but just sort of um, you can see what I'm doing there just freehanding it and I even don't actually cut on the lines that exactly the lines that I've drawn it's just really a guide for me and as I said I'm not too concerned if these are perfect as long as they're all the same height that's what I'm most concerned about so I um, I've drawn the E here and I'm cutting that one out and I think it's too wide so I'm just going to make it a little bit narrower um, and then I want two E's so rather than draw another E I place this one on top and use it as a guide to cut out the second one so that's just a little simple thing there that you can do to make the letters go quicker just cutting out my X there we go and then the P is pretty simple to do and obviously the L and then I'm going to use the P to make my R so I'm just going to cut put a little um, tail there on the R so that I have um, the P as the template so that works really well and I know that they're the same size I'm just going to use my eraser to just get rid of the pencil lines where they are still on there and then I have all of my letters except the O, which is, um, I'm going to use my photo to make the O. So just checking it's the same size. I'm going to cut off the white trim. And then I'm going to draw on the back um, the rounded corners so that I can cut it. And then it resembles an O. Obviously, I'm not going to cut the middle out of, the, of this one because that wouldn't work. That would cut my face out. <laughs> And my husband's face. I, I guess that defeats the purpose of memory keeping. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to cut the um, shape out of the R and the P. I was going to leave it, leave them in, but I decided actually that I wanted to cut them out. This title making is is super simple to do. Once you get the hang of it and you've done it the first time, it's very easy to to repeat it again and again, and. Um, yeah, you don't need many embellishments either when you do it this way. So it's a really great use of pattern paper. Okay, so what I decide I want to do is to make a border around here. Rather than use a whole 12 by 12 sheet, I'm going to use these cut off pieces and create a little border. So I'm going to cut some strips. I think they're about an inch, maybe just over an inch, inch and a quarter wide. Um from all of these strips that I've got left and then I'm going to place them around the page like this and you'll just see what I'm going to do in a second with them there we go and I'm going to distress the inner edge of each one so that it's um gives it some texture and then I'm just going to stick it down lightly because I'm going to sew through them so I don't want to put too much adhesive there because it will get clogged up in my sewing machine so there you go that's the last one down there and I'm just going to cut off those little bits sticking off there okay so that's that and then I took it away to my sewing machine and I did some straight stitching and also some zigzag stitching along there just to add a little bit extra texture on there so I'm pulling my letters back out and I want to put them on the page. I don't want to centre them. I want to put them down here on the right. 
and that's pretty much what it's going to look like. I do turn that E over because I think the E gets lost a little bit there, but um, but you'll see that in just a second. It's a good thing about the E is it's reversible. <laughs> so I'm using some inks here. I have a sapphire and slumber. Sapphire is the darker blue and slumber is the lighter blue. And I'm just basically putting down some messy mixed media onto the page. There's no gesso, I'm just putting it on the page as is and then putting my letters back on and realizing that I need more because um, it's all hidden behind the letters. So I need a bit more up here on the top left. Then I'm gonna do some splatters as well. Always do some splatters with my mixed media. <laughs> dry it off a bit with my kitchen towel and then I'm going to put some white splatters on too. So this is just plain white acrylic paint and I'm just putting some small splatters and then some bigger splatters as well just to add that extra bit of um, interest to that mixed media. There you go, you can see. Just blurred some of it out, made it a bit paler. And then I'm going to play with my letters and think about whether I can put the L down or the L needs to stay and I realise the L needs to stay at the top. Even though that isn't commonly how you would split the word explore, I think that it does look better at the top. Okay, so I off camera I sewed around my photo and then I'm going to draw around the letters with a black fine line pen. I was going to sew around them all but I um, I was concerned I was going to just, you know, the sewing machine was going to catch up in them and it wasn't going to work. So I decided to draw around those. And then I'm just going to use some sticky back foam to pop all of those off the page. So all of the letters and then also the photograph. And I've stuck those down with wet glue. So they're all stuck. I'm just going to press them in place. Um, I find that wet glue works much better on mixed media than um, tape, double-sided tape. So they're all nicely stuck and I'm going to pull out the puffy stickers here and put some of those onto the page. So that one just says going places and then the next little one says this place is so magical. Um, the photo is from the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. And uh, I went there for a big birthday recently and um, and I thought that the colours that me and my husband were wearing went really well with this collection. So uh, yeah, it worked out great. I'm using a tag there on the side. I do ultimately put a bit of journaling on there, but I don't do that on the video. You'll see that on the final photos. Um, just a couple of tags there. And then of course I decide I need to put some twine into my tag and this is just waxed twine um, which I have in my stash I have lots of different colors perfect for tags and I also put some on this little tag but I I actually do take it off um, because I feel like there's a bit too much twine there but you'll see that in a short while okay just put some foam underneath this tag to give it some dimension. And I'm going to stick that down with tape because there's no uh, mixed media there, so tape is fine for that little section. Okay, take that tag off that I added to the top because I don't really think that works there. I'm going to put this little um, journaling piece here and that says, savoring these moments. I'm just going to put that on there and then also the little map, um, little map piece, I'm going to put that above that little title there and I like that. That's a little camera which is going to go next to the photo. What's coming next? Ah, okay, so I wanted to bring some yellow. I have some yellow at the top and I have some yellow to the right. I just wanted to put a little pop of yellow down here on the left bottom just to balance that out. And then I put the other half of the tag up there because I thought we've got some white space there and that will look pretty cute. 
So here I am, I take that twine out of that tag and I'm going instead to wrap some around the L at the top. I wanted something up there, but I wasn't sure what, and I finally decide to do this. And I tie a little bow at the top and I think that looks quite nice up there. There we go. I think we're getting close to the end. Just finally, I decide to put some enamel dots, always enamel dots, and I'm going to put those on and that will be it. You're momentarily going to see the final layout. I really, really hope it's inspired you to use um, Tourist Mode, which is a, a fabulous kit, uh, collection, sorry. If you have any questions, please do let me know. There are some close-ups coming up as well, and uh, you'll be able to see some detail there. Please do follow the Pink Fresh YouTube channel. We post new videos all the time, and I'd love if you would po uh, follow my channel as well. It's listed below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vicky for Pink Fresh Studio. Thank you. Bye-bye.